Hi guys, uh, good afternoon. Hoping and expecting all are safe and fine. Today for the lot of students the request I am just doing this video. They want the pattern of question paper. As you know the last video only I told they won't conduct offline examination because as they told uh, CMA globally so uh, obviously they will go through online only. So home based also there and center based also there. Might be let's see the notification what will come the whatever uh updates uh, will come from the institute i will update it let us start now today i am going to discuss about the question paper pattern whatever we solved in the jan 3rd onwards so this is the i am taking one pattern of question paper that is strategic cost management and decision making which is cma final paper 15 uh, so i will repeat it once again this is the model question uh, this is the question paper of whatever we solved in january 3rd onwards uh, in that I am choosing one question paper that is a strategic cost management and decision making. Uh, let us start you can see here CMA uh, final that is a paper 15 this is a final question paper. So how they are asking the question paper, uh, question paper and what and all they will ask because it will helpful for coming examination for you. This is uh, whatever already they asked the questions okay. Uh, I will just tell you the pattern this is a CMA final paper 15 set 1 they will ask uh mcqs that is they will ask 10 questions which carries two marks each question carries two marks so set one uh, mcqs they will ask 10 questions which carries two marks it means 20 marks they will ask here uh, mcqs so uh, next set b set b they, you will get one internal choice uh, they will ask either you can write a uh, question 11 to 18 you can see here 11 to 18 or you can attempt the 19 to 20 if you someone is given the examination you will get to know if you attend 11 to 18 you can't access 19 to 20 if you uh, attend 19 to 20 you can't access 11 to 18 they have made that kind of a software so you have to show you have to uh, properly choose what and all you have to uh, write the answers because uh, don't waste your time they will give only three hours it is not offline online only so you have to choose smartly what and all you have to solve so let us start set b they will give internal choice in that 11 to 18 or 19 to 20 11 to 18 they will ask mcqs not like set a whatever they ask questions they will give directly set a uh, direct questions but in set b they will ask a uh, bit different level that is 11 to 14 uh, they will give one big question uh, like descriptive or they will give case studies or some practical question they will give uh, 11 to 18 uh, 11 to 14 they will give one question in that they will give four uh, uh, sub questions uh, case studies they will give otherwise they will give some practical questions in that they will give sub questions 11 to 14 it means four questions they will give in that you have to they will give options in that you have to choose the appropriate options uh, which carries two marks so totally this question will come for the eight marks so same thing pattern 15 to 18 they will give one descriptive big question in that you have to choose uh, you have to choose uh, appropriate question uh, answer and you have to give it so each question carries two marks uh, that will be covered here uh, question 11 to 18 it will cover 16 marks or you will get one option uh, question number 19 and 20 which carries the up, uh, each question carries the eight marks that is a theory point question number 19 and 20 you will get the mm, theory questions so you have to they are giving eight marks at least you should write properly points proper points uh, minimum eight and maximum 10 to 12 because it is a uh, you have to write if you are giving english medium you have to type that so you now onwards you have to try to practice whenever you feel bored you can sit with the system and you can play with the system you can write uh, practice for the typing so that will be helpful for you so this is the you in set b you will get internal choice now come to the set c set c also you will get one internal choice there there will be the question 20, 21 to 28 or 29 to 30 the same pattern whatever we saw set B you will get the set C also the same choice uh, here also you will get one internal choice set C you can see here 11 to 28 same uh, question in that sub question they will ask one uh, that is 20, uh, 21 to 24 you will get one descriptive question in that they will ask sub questions for in that you have to choose the appropriate 
answer the same thing 25 to 28 that is also they will ask mcq type question uh, they will give one big question in that you have to choose uh, or you have you will get one more question that is a optional you can choose this or that theory question they will ask 29 to 32 questions they will ask theory that is a each question carries eight marks so you have to write minimum proper point 10 to 12 if you have time you can write more also but you have to attend properly whenever you are choosing choose appropriate because uh, there is no extra time and you cannot choose this question or that question now uh, the system won't take it okay uh, i now uh, set d set d it's a compulsory question set d it's a compulsory question you don't have any choice for that uh, you will get 21 to uh, sorry 31 to 46 which is uh, 16 questions it will come each carries two marks they will ask any small theory they will ask any small uh, case study they will ask uh, anything they will ask which is carry uh, which will carry two marks so 31 to 46 which will be 16 question each each question carries two marks which will be uh, 32 marks 16 question 32 marks so it is a compulsory set e you can see the compulsory uh, question also that is a theory obviously whenever we, we used to give offline also the same question last question they will give uh, theory question so like that same but here we don't have choice they will give their seven questions and there will be two choice you can choose but here they made compulsory set b and set c only in that you will get the option you won't get an option from set A to E. You don't have choice in that, but B and C you can choose. So set E compulsory question 47 to 50. Uh, there will be four, I think five questions they will give, but fine four questions in that you have to, uh, five questions if they are given, you have to choose the fourth theory and you have to write four marks each. At least you can write appropriate points five to six. Like this, you can type the, uh, like this, you can practice it whenever you are studying. Uh, so this will be helpful for you uh, guys if you like this kind of a videos please message me in the comment box i will try to give the all pattern of the question papers because i don't think so they will change the pattern of question paper this is that standard question paper pattern they are following so this is it guys if you have any doubt queries please comment in the message uh, com uh, comment box so thanks for watching the video thanks a lot bye bye